President, please be seated. The court is back in session. The floor is now given to the co-prosecutors. Co-prosecutors who get with the with lead co-lawyers will have uh, this session to put questions to the witness. You may now proceed. Co-prosecutor. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Witness, in the first session, we discussed about the, work, the working condition at the Pentamore Dam work site. Before I move to a new topic, I have a few last questions in regarding the last topic. I was asking you about the medics, whether or not there were medics standby at the dam work site. You made mention about this point uh, to investigator of the OCIJ, English EON 0032 1201, Khmer EON 00 29 59 47, and French EON 00 70 29 24. You were asked by an investigator whether there were any clinics and medics at the dam construction site, your answer is, quote, there were Notre medics on duty going to see people at the mobile unit. In my unit, there, were, there, there was no medic on duty. Those medics were not trained because they had been selected from villages and put to work straight away. Medicines which were adopted from traditional formulas had blue color in peel shape and, it, and were very hard to swallow. Some people took those medicines but some other did not. Instead, they secretly threw them away." Unquote. Do you recall that uh, you gave a statement uh, very clearly uh, to an investigator about the blue color, and you, in the first session, mentioned about the fact that you did not recall whether there were any medicine. So which uh, statement is correct to your best recollection? Answer. The statement within the written report of the interview is correct and reflects the situation back then uh, because I am confused and I have uh, suffered from illness uh, from time to time, I cannot uh, recall the event uh, fully. When Imola went to interview me at the time in the village, I was sick in bed. I could not even uh, get up, get out of my back. I had uh, suffered from illness for a, you know, a long period of time back then. Co-prosecutor. So regarding the testimony you gave before this court in the Donc, first, first session and the, test, session, the uh, statement you gave to investigator uh, back then in the past, so which statement is correct and which one you agree with? President, please give your response. Witness, I do not know which one is correct. I, I, I am trying to recall, but I cannot recall it, uh, which one is the most accurate one. Co-prosecutor, very well, Mr. Witness. 
I have an other question regarding the time you were working at Trapeangtmo Dam work site. Were you ever accused of having the so-called imaginary sickness? D'avoir ce que l'on appelait la maladie imaginaire. Answer: No. No one accused me of that. I heard uh, the term consciousness illness or imaginary illness. Co-prosecutor, what about you yourself? Were you ever accused of having the so-called imaginary disease? D'avoir cette maladie. President, uh, please hold on, Mr. Witness. Uh, the floor is now given to Council Kung Sumon. You may proceed. Council Kung Sumon, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I would like to pose an objection to the last question. The witness made mention already that no one uh, was accused of having uh, the so-called imaginary sickness. And uh, he said that it was a general term mentioned by everyone. Co-prosecutor, I think I have understood uh, the witness uh, statement differently. That is why I uh, asked a question for clarification. Now I am referring to a document to be sure. Mr. Witness, you made mention in your written record of the interview in Khmer Yuan 00295947, English Yuan 00. 32 12 02 French 00 70 29 24 You gave a statement to the investigator I quote I was removed they removed me from the company chairman Ils position because I, at the time I was a little sick and not able to go down to work site regularly. They accused me of having a consciousness illness. Mr. Witness, do you recall whether or not you were accused of having uh, the consciousness illness? What do you understand about the term consciousness illness? Answer. That is true. I was not well back then on the day. I was not able to go and to work, and I was accused of having a consciousness illness. Because of my illness, I was reassigned to clear and pick up a lumpia at PGA, and uh, I was assigned to carry dirt, uh, 10, you know, basket loads a day, and uh, when I could accomplish the work, I was assigned back to my uh, unit. So it means that you were really sick at that time. You were not having the consciousness illness at the time. Is that true? Answer, I was really sick on the day. I uh, was not able to work because of my sickness. Co-prosecutor. After you had been transferred to make uh, the uh, basket, earth carrying basket, and to pick up a lumpia, pour, um, and who assigned, who assigned you to do the job, and where was he from? Answer. Uh, he was from a different unit, and the work force uh, was gathered to do the work that I was doing at that time. Work force from other units 
was also gathered qui to work at that place. Co-prosecutor, once again, who removed you and who assigned you to make the earth-carrying basket and uh, to pick up uh, lumpia trees? Answer. I do not know. My battalion chief uh, told me that I had to go to make uh, earth carrying basket and pick up lumpia trees. Co prosecutor, battalion chief, you, were, you are referring to battalion chief. Uh, what was his name? And so his name was Chuang. Co-prosecutor, when you were told to collect or pick up a uh, rumpia tree and to make baskets, uh, did you have right uh, to refuse that assignment? Collecter ce petit arbre. Answer, no, I did not dare to refuse the assignment. I had to go based on uh, the instruction. Question, why? You told the court just now that uh, you were really sick at the time. Why did you not dare to uh, refuse that assignment? Answer, I did not dare to do so at that time. If one uh, dared to refuse assignment, uh, it was a problem. It was he, he or she was in trouble. Uh, I had to resort to bring uh, the medicine along so that I could uh, have it while I was working. Co-prosecutor, Co while you were working at Trapentement Dam work site, sur le site de did you work there voluntarily? Y -vous travaillé de façon volontaire? Did you have rights to refuse the assignment when you were told to carry dirt? La tâche que vous lorsque vous a de Answer. Réponse. Youth in every village uh, was gathered to work at the dam site, including uh, the female. Question. Did you go to work voluntarily or were you forced to the dam site? Did you uh, have the rights to refuse the refuser? relocation or the transfer to the work site? Ce transfer vers le site de travail. Answer, no. Réponse, I non. had to go, you, female and male youths had to go les based on the instruction. Question, why? Why did you all have to go? Question, mais pourquoi? Pourquoi What happened if you refused uh, the assignment? Si vous avez, si vous I'm sorry. Réponse. They told us to go, and we had to do so. We had to go. We had to go with all others. Question. While you were working there at Topeng Modem work site, were by Biographies uh, collected uh, from workers at the dam site. Answer: Some biographies uh, were collected. Certain biographies ont été collectées. Question: Who Question. collected Qui? the biographies, or what for? Collected the biographies, and why? Answer, battalion chiefs uh, went Réponse. around and asked uh, us to make biographies. 
parmi nous et nous demandait de faire les Question. Battalion chiefs did they Question. Les chefs require de bataillon all workers at the dam site to make biography or were only members from your unit required to make biographies? Answer. We all were required to make our biographies. Réponse. Nous avons tous dû faire Question. notre biographie. Why? Do you have any idea why biographies so were being collected from workers at that time? Question. Pourquoi? Vous souvenez-vous pourquoi Answer. on a voulu collecter I les biographies à cette époque? I do not know. It Réponse. is a doubt for me as well. Je ne sais pas. C'est une question que je me posais également. Co-prosecutor. As a company chief uh, back then, did you give any instructions to your workers about biography being collected, or were you instructed of uh, the matter? Answer. Réponse. I was told that uh, biographies uh, would be collected. Uh, on m'a dit que des biographies seraient units. collectées from uh, units, des unités. Et on m'a dit que des biographies everyone. devaient être collectées de tout le monde. Co-prosecutor, regarding your unit, uh, were you the one who collected the biography, or was someone else doing the work? La biographie ou était-ce quelqu'un d'autre? Answer. There was someone else who went around and collected uh, the biographies of uh, the newcomers. Se chargeait de collecter la biographie des nouveaux venus. Co-prosecutor, do you have any idea uh, whether reports uh, were made after biography? were collected and uh, where Savez were the si reports sent to? La collecte des biographies, un rapport a été Answer. Dressé, I, I do not know uh, where the rien. biographies were taken to after they had been collected. Co-prosecutor, thank you, Co Mr. Winness. I am now moving témoin. to another topic regarding the arrests and killings of people at the Bank Mondam worksite. Did any arrests and killings happen within your unit from your recollection? Dans votre unité, d'après vos souvenirs. Answer. There was one incident. One person was arrested. Il y a eu un incident. Une personne a été arrêtée. Co-prosecutor, could you elaborate on the incident that one was killed and taken away? And uh, who was he? Co-prosecutor, please hold on, Mr. Witness. Uh, Mr. Cope, you have the floor now. Uh, I object to this question. The question was already a bit dubious to start with, uh, having two subjects in one sentence, arrest and kill. But then when the question was asked, uh, the witness answered, I know of one incident that someone was arrested. Uh, and then the subsequent question was, tell me about the incident of someone being arrested and killed. He didn't say that. Co-prosecutor, uh, I Co do not know how the, the interpretation was rendered. Uh, I was asking about uh, what happened to the individual. The witness uh, did mention that uh, that individual was arrested and killed. So I am now exploring. President. President. The objection is about uh, the arrest and uh, killing, whether it was uh, really mentioned uh, by the witness. 
and the co-prosecutor or the lawyer wants to know whether the, there was an actual arrest and killing at that time. So the question should be clear and should be separated on the topic. And I believe that uh, the witness may have had a different knowledge about the arrests and killings, and the, the answer is not very clear from the witness. So if uh, you combine the two facts together, that is arrest and killing, and perhaps the witness uh, may be confused, and uh, you cannot elicit uh, the uh, proper response from the witness. So your question should be uh, clear, and you should uh, separate uh, the arrest and killing uh, from each other when you put your question. Co-prosecutor, thank you, Mr. President. I will try to distinguish the two incidents. My own, 00, 59, English, 00, French 00, 00 70 29 20. 20. 20. Mr. Witness, you stated Monsieur that uh, there were arrests of a member from your unit and they were unité, killed. Please translation. Ont été now I am asking about the arrests Donc, of people. La where did they happen regarding the arrests of members from your unit? Could you tell, could you tell about the incident to the court? Answer. The arrest was made at uh, Rumche, the Pentmore construction site. Question, who was arrested and how did the event happen? Could you elaborate on the incident? Answer, I do not know why that individual was arrested. I heard about the incident. J'ai entendu parler de cet événement. And the arrest, I heard that the arrest was made because of the biography. L'arrestation avait été faite à cause de la biographie. Co-prosecutor, you mentioned that uh, the arrest was made based on the biography. In Khmer, what uh, do you want to say on the matter? Could you expand on this? Answer, after the biography had been collected, it was known that the individual was working in the civil aviation and that individual, the request was made to individual to strip off and to get away his or her clothes. Question, who came to arrest that individual? Answer, I do not know. The arrest occurred at night time. Co-prosecutor, within the written record of the interview on the same page, and perhaps, you know, it's on another page, you made mention that the arrest uh, was made by Taval soldiers. My question is the statement you made mention to the investigator correct? That is, uh, the arrest was made by Taval soldiers. Answer. Réponse. 
I did not witness uh, the arrest. Je I overheard uh, about that, and I, you know, I mentioned it based on what I heard. J'ai rapporté ce que j'avais entendu. Co-prosecutor, a while ago, you made mention that uh, that individual was working in the civil aviation. How did you know about that? How did you know his biography? Where did he work? Evacuees, the newcomers, told me about that. Question. question the new evacuees or newcomer les are you referring venus, to the 17 Afro people who had been evacuated from Phnom Penh is that correct mic is not activated uh, your honor mr president mic is not activated Monsieur le président le micro est éteint. I uh, cannot hear what the president said. Co-prosecutor, please give your response again because uh, your response was made before the mic was activated. You made mention about the newcomer or new evacuees. Are you referring to the 17 April people who had been evacuated from Phnom Penh? Answer, yes, that is true. Oui, est exact. Question. Question. Did you know, do you know that individual uh, workplace, uh, as you stated that uh, you heard he was working in civil aviation? que vous avez entendu dire qu'il travaillait dans l'aviation civile. Answer, I do not know about that. Question, Mr. Witness, within your written record of your interview on, you know, one page after the previous page I read to you, you made mention to an investigator that Quote, before they arrested anyone, they first Avant had to go soit, and ask the unit chairman because that person was a member of my unit. They first came to ask me for the name of the target person. Qui était, qui at arrêté. the time, I saw them his name, and then they came to Après arrest him while we were working at that night. Unquote. My question is about that event. What time was it at night time? Answer. I was not uh, focusing to look at the watch or clock at that time, but what time it was. I uh, did not pay attention to time at that night. Question. Question. So when the arrest happened, Donc, was it at lieu, the time you were working at the dam site, or was it at the time you were taking rest after work? Answer, it Réponse. was not yet the resting time. Ce pas le I was de still se working. Je travaillais toujours. Question. Question. After the arrest, Après where was he taken to? Où est-ce que cette personne a été emmenée? Answer. I do not know where he was taken to. Réponse. Je ne sais pas où il a été emmené.
co-prosecutor, uh, Mr. Okay. Witness, in the same uh, pay, on the same page Monsieur in your written record of interview. Dans votre procès verbal d'audition. I quote, at that time I vous was dites, following them when they walked him and reached a courtroom gate about 60 meters from our website, that person was trying to escape. At that time I wanted to help him. President, uh, you have the floor, Mr. Cope. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, in itself, I have no objection to the question posed because um, in his answer, the witness says that he uh, didn't remember things. However, I would like to avoid the situation that we had last week when uh, too many details are being read um, from the previous statement, in effect helping um, the witness uh, remember things, and we can all see that this witness, as the previous witness, by the way, has memory issues. So I would urge the prosecution, if they start telling uh, or relaying details from the witness statement, to be um, uh, not to give too many details away um, in, in the excerpts that are being read. Uh, so step by step is my request. The President, this is only an observation, and uh, the National uh, Prosecutor uh, can do it within the uh, framework of the uh, written record of the uh, interview, but not the uh, explanation, the additional explanation beyond uh, the record in the uh, interview. If it is a direct quote from the uh, record of interview, it's uh, clear and would be good. Prosecutor, Mr. Witness, uh, you have uh, answered to the question of the investigator. You say that at the time we also went uh, together, and then we uh, walk, they walked them to Kogram uh, about 50 meters away. Uh, at that time, he attempted to uh, escape, uh, but uh, they pushed me aside, and they shot him to death uh, in the middle of the rice field. So my question to you, uh, to your knowledge, uh, who was the person who uh, shot uh, the uh, man uh, to death and uh, where was he from? Response. He was uh, a soldier in the army, uh, he was actually uh, from the uh, army attached to the Trepang uh, construction dam. Questions. Earlier, you said that the soldier was uh, from Taval uh, group. Uh, was it the same uh, soldiers from the same unit uh, who came uh, from uh, Taval's uh, group and then uh, he shot uh, the person to this. Respond, yes, that's correct. They um, were in the group of the uh, soldiers uh, who came to arrest him. Question, uh, yes, you said that uh, it was that uh, soldier, but I'm, I am referring specifically to the person who shot uh, the person to death. Was it the same soldiers who came to arrest him or a different person? Response. That I uh, did not know. At that time, they pushed me aside and I was uh, frightened. I did not know who actually uh, shot uh, the person. Question. So when um, they were 
shooting uh, the man uh, where were you and did you witness uh, that shooting cette personne où étiez-vous et avez-vous été témoin de l'événement response i did not uh, see i only heard uh, the gun vu, shot uh, le coup de feu. they did not allow me to see it ils ne m'ont pas permis de le voir question question Mr. Witness, uh, it seems that there is a variation in Monsieur your témoin, uh, statement uh, you made with uh, the Office of Investigating Judges. In your previous record of interview, uh, you said that you saw uh, the shooting uh, by your own eye. And now I am asking you whether or not you uh, actually saw that by your own eye at that time, or so you only heard the gunshot. Uh, which, which, which answer are you confirming now? Response. I was at uh, some distance. I only heard the gun uh, shot, and I assume that uh, the man was killed. Question. So Question. when the investigator asked you in your interview Alors, uh, with uh, him, as uh, you uh, say that you saw uh, by your own eye um, that uh, the man was uh, shot. Response. I did not Réponse. see uh, the shooting by my own eye. Je I only heard uh, the gunshot, uh, then I assume that he was uh, killed. Que la était morte. Uh, at that time, I, when I was answering to the question of investigator, non, question in that instant, I assume that I uh, saw pensé it. Que vu. Question. question. So after the... Uh, alleged uh, shooting of the man uh, did you ever see him again the next day or the following days Council Kungsimon Mr. President I have uh, observations on this uh, line of questioning uh, the witness says that a man uh, he saw and he was arrested and he was shot uh, to death. But there was another uh, record in the statement uh, that the man was walked away and then he attempted to flee and then he was uh, shot. The president, but that is what the prosecutor is asking the question. Uh, she uh, she wants to ascertain whether or not he saw that man. Uh, that's why he is she is asking for uh, clarification uh, on the facts uh, that is subject to the examination now, uh, uh, Madam Prosecutor. You may continue. Questions? Do you recall my last question? So Monsieur I um, de had better question. put this question again uh, to you. After you heard uh, the gunshot, uh, did you Après ever see the man feu, again? Let on. Response. Réponse. Ever seen uh, the man disappeared? Cet homme a disparu. Prosecutor, thank you, Mr. Yes. President, and thank you, uh, Mr. Witness. Yes. Uh, I uh, do not have any further questions. I would like to cede the floor to the lead caller for the civil parties. Uh, the President, uh, Mr. Lead call lawyer for the civil parties, you may proceed. Pekong. Thank you, Mr. Merci, President. Uh, good Président. morning uh, to uh, everyone and good morning to Mr. Tous. Witness. Bonjour, My Monsieur name Témoin. is Pekong. I am a national lead call lawyer for the civil parties. I have a few questions uh, I would like to uh, put to the witness. Uh, good morning, Mr. Witness. Bonjour. I would like to start off uh, with uh, the uh, issue of the marriage uh, during the Khmer Rouge uh, era that you um, knew and you encountered by yourself. Did you 
uh, know about the uh, marriage uh, procedures uh, during the Khmer Rouge uh, era and Comme if uh, so what was it like can you tell the court respond thank you to my knowledge uh, at that time Before we got married, we have to inform uh, the chief of the uh, unit. Uh, for example, we would uh, inform the uh, chief of the female uh, unit um, whether or not uh, she approve uh, that was up uh, to her. But if uh, she, she approved, uh, then uh, the weddings would uh, proceed. Question. question just now you said that um, it was up to the women uh, chief uh, to decide or to approve uh, on any marriage uh, proposal uh, what are you trying to tell the court uh, in this in this uh, instance can you elaborate it response we had to do it in our line of uh, commu channel. Uh, we have to propose it to our uh, superior, and then the, they would talk to the chief of women unit. Il parler à nos supérieurs qui eux entrent en contact avec la chef de l'unité des femmes. Question. Did you uh, know at your location uh, that there were uh, many marriages uh, held si or wedding held? Response. Yes, um, I, I knew uh, the marriages. Um, at one time, uh, there was a uh, marriage of 20 to 30 couples at a time. Question, can you um, expand a little further during the uh, three year, eight months and 20 day uh, period? Uh, how many wedding uh, or were held? Can you uh, tell the court as to how many times the wedding was uh, arranged at the time? Response, uh, two times in the village, in the Bang village once and at the uh, bridge uh, once. So there were two times. Question, you talk about bridge, uh, where was it located? Uh, was there any name attached to the bridge? Response, we call it Trepang uh, Tmo Dam Bridge, and, and it was the first bridge. Question. I want to know about the uh, marriage held uh, in the village. Did you participate uh, in the marriage uh, ceremony yourself, or you only heard from others about the marriage that was held in the village? Response. I. Uh, did not participate. I only heard uh, uh, of the ceremony. Question. How did you hear about it? Can you tell the court? At the time, uh, the marriage was held in the village. How many couples uh, were in the ceremony uh, based on what you heard at the time? Response. There were 20 couples. Une vingtaine de couples. Question. Question. Did you know any couple uh, among the 20 couples uh, who got married uh, then? 
response. I do not know. Je ne sais pas. Question. Question. How did you learn about the marriage uh, ceremony? Did you cérémonie hear from others or how did you get to know dit? this uh, marriage uh, ceremony? Response. Response. Uh, they asked us to sit uh, in one place. Uh, Council, on questions. Let me uh, reformulate my question. Uh, how did you learn about the marriage ceremony uh, held in the village? Did you hear from others or did you uh, witness it? And if you were told by somebody, uh, who told you that? Response. I saw it. Uh, Each couple at a time uh, came to uh, commit to their marriage uh, relationship uh, that they would love each other uh, and they would take care of each other. Question. Thank you. Can you uh, tell the court uh, about the uh, proceedings of the Uh, wedding uh, ceremony. You said that uh, you saw uh, the wedding ceremony. Uh, could you tell the court uh, who were uh, participating in the wedding? For example, the unit chief or anybody in the in the wedding ceremony. The president, uh, Mr. Witness, please hold on. Uh, Council Kung Samon, you may proceed. Kung Samon, thank you, Mr. President. I think that uh, the question is rather confusing, and uh, so is the uh, statement or the answer to the question. With, with regard to the issues that the witness uh, participated in the wedding ceremony or not, uh, he stated very clearly that uh, he uh, did not participate. Uh, but then later on, the witness uh, has said that uh, he witnessed the uh, wedding ceremony. So it is not clear. So I think that it is good to ask uh, for the uh, clear um, statement from the witness whether or not he participated himself in the wedding ceremony. The president. Uh, for the parties, uh, please uh, note that uh, now Uh, the witness uh, state of health is uh, not really uh, stable. Uh, he and this even uh, took place long time ago. He cannot recall uh, all the event completely. So for that reason, the parties should prepare the question, uh, and the, all the question must be uh, succinct, uh, so that the witness uh, find it easy to understand, so that he or she uh, he can respond. Uh, clearly, if the question is complicated, is long vending with the descriptions, then uh, it is not likely that we'll get the uh, statement from the witness. So please be uh, succinct uh, in your uh, question. If you If you want to uh, demonstrate your ability to uh, put the questions, it sounds good, but uh, uh, the outcome may not be uh, satisfactory because the uh, witness might not understand the uh, question completely. Council Pichong. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. Uh, in the interest of time, I'd like to uh, move on now, and I try to be as succinct as possible. Um, you saw the uh, wedding uh, ceremony in the village, uh, didn't you? Avez-vous vu ou non la cérémonie de mariage dans ce village? Response. I only uh, went uh, to uh, see uh, the ceremony quickly, and then I je just uh, allé, walked away de, at the time. Ensuite, suis, Question. So Question. what were the um, activities uh, they were doing at the ceremony? 
when you saw it briefly. Vous voulez écrire ce que vous avez vu brièvement. Response. Réponse. I did not notice any activities. I did not stay there long. I just went there briefly. Particulier, je ne suis pas resté bien longtemps. Je suis Question. Allé jeter un, vite, euh, un coup d'œil rapide. Now I move on to another wedding uh, ceremony which was according to you held at the first bridge of the Pentmore work site. When was the ceremony held? Uh, can you tell us the uh, date uh, the wedding ceremony held? Vous souvenez-vous de la date? Response. Réponse. I never thought of it and I do not je recall uh, the date pas. at all. Question. Question. How did you get to know the wedding uh, ceremony uh, held uh, there? Uh, did you witness it Comment by yourself or you were told en by somebody else? En parlé? Response. Réponse. There was a loudspeaker at the time and uh, there was an announcement of, or pronouncement of the couple and when I heard that I just went there to simply look at the uh, function briefly. Question. Question. Did you see many couples in the wedding ceremony? Grand nombre de couples dans cette Response. Cérémonie there de were marriage. many couples. Il y en avait beaucoup. There were 20 couples, 5 couples. Couple, cinq couples. Question. So the wedding ceremony Question. held at the first uh, bridge. Uh, at the Bank More work site, how many uh, couples uh, were uh, in the wedding uh, ceremony uh, to your estimation? Response. In my estimation, there were 13, 14 couples and up to 20 couples Uh, it was held in two different times. C'était à deux occasions différentes. Question. Question. Were there any religious uh, functions or rituals uh, performed uh, in the wedding ceremony held at the first bridge? During, I mean, during the wedding ceremony, was there any religious uh, functions or rituals performed then? Response. Yes, I saw the bouquet oui. of flowers. Bouquet de fleurs. They put uh, it up uh, before the, in front of the hall. Uh, Ils ont mis un bouquet de fleurs devant le hall. Question. Question. Were there uh, other people in the attendance at the wedding ceremony beside the couples uh, to be married uh, at the time uh, who were in attendance? De Response. Réponse. There were there weren't any other people. Non. Il n'y avait personne d'autre. Question. Question. So who led the wedding uh, ceremony? To your recollection, uh, the wedding that was held at the first bridge of the Denver side, uh, who led the ceremony? Response. Uh, it was the uh, supervisor uh, of the uh, Trapentmoor construction site. Uh, questions, Question. can you be a little more uh, specific? Uh, who was he and what uh, role uh, did he assume uh, at the Trapentmoor work site? 
response. Repose. Tawal, uh, Tawal was the Tawal. person in charge of the Tawal construction qui work site. Question. So, was Tawal in attendance uh, at the wedding ceremony at the time? Response, I am not Réponse. sure on this point. There were other peoples at the wedding uh, ceremony. I did not know them all. Question, let me question. ask you again. The people who were in charge of um, organizing the wedding ceremonies or people who presided over the uh, wedding ceremony, uh, according to your observation, when you uh, saw there, uh, who uh, presided over the wedding ceremony, uh, who who else beside the couple were participating in the wedding ceremony then? participate at the ceremony of marriage. Response, Réponse. I did not know uh, them all. Je ne les connaissais pas tous. I saw uh, the subordinates of uh, Ta Wal who there, uh, but I did not really know um, all of them. Je ne les connaissais pas vraiment. Question. Thank you. I am sorry to interrupt you, uh, but Maître Picard, merci. Je regrette d'avoir à vous interrompre. You yourself, uh, during the Khmer Rouge uh, regimes, uh, were you married? Uh, if so, uh, when uh, did you get married? Le cas échéant, pouvez-vous nous dire quand? Response. Réponse. I got married uh, during this uh, era. I got married uh, in the village, at uh, the uh, cooperative. Au village, dans la cooperative. Question. Question. How many couples were there at uh, the time when you got married? And can you tell the court the proceeding of the marriage uh, ceremony at the time? La cérémonie? Response. Uh, they followed the same uh, proceedings uh, as what they did with uh, the couples at the uh, Terpeng uh, work site. But uh, in, in my case, uh, the chief of the cooperative arranged uh, the uh, wedding ceremony. Question, how many couples um, were there at the time? Response, there were only four couples. Couples. Question. Question. In your statement, in your record of interview, Khmer zero zero two nine. Five nine four seven English zero zero three two one two zero one and French zero zero seven zero two nine two four. You uh, said uh, that uh, there were three couples uh, then. Uh, can you uh, tell the court which one is uh, correct because? Um, just now you said that uh, there were four couples, but in your statement uh, earlier you gave to the investigator, you said there were three couples. Which one is correct? Response. No, questions. Uh, when you got married, uh, how many couples uh, were there at the time uh, at, at, at the wedding ceremonies that you yourself got married at the time? I have only very few more questions for you. Uh, questions. Uh, that is okay if it is uh, difficult for you to recall. Um, you do not need to answer this question. I will move on. Question. 
Can you tell the court during the Khmer Rouge um, era? Um, could the si? a male, a gentleman, and a woman uh, who love each other, could they propose and then decide it uh, on the marriage by themselves? Response, no, uh, they uh, could not do that. They had to propose it uh, through their respective uh, chief. Question. So if they uh, decided to um, live with each other uh, by themselves, uh, what would happen to them? Response. If they uh, did it by themselves without si recognition uh, from other that was considered moral offense. Comme une, un délit question. So my last question uh, for now, question. Uh, for you. Pour At the times you were the uh, company chief and uh, you were also in charge of company. this company chief attached to the uh, construction uh, work site. So to the best of no knowledge, uh, what was the main objective of the uh, marriage uh, that was arranged uh, by the upper echelon? So uh, did they make mention uh, the objective of the marriage arranged uh, at the time? Response. No, they did not uh, no. describe uh, it uh, so pas much. Uh, they only asked individual uh, people uh, to uh, commit uh, to the relationship. Uh, so, uh, thank you, uh, witness. I understand that uh, your health condition uh, is, is not... Uh, uh, very good now, uh, but uh, you have tried to answer my question. I thank you very much, and thank you, Mr. President, for granting me the floor to put the questions to the witness. I do not have any further questions, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. An observation. Uh, maybe it's because of the translation, but I heard that today he is fine, and he wasn't fine six and a half years ago when he gave his uh, written statement. At least that's how I understood it in uh, the translation, and you just also said that he is not fine now, which I don't think uh, from observing him. But um, could it be clarified whether he was not feeling well six and a half years ago when he gave his WRI, or whether that is the situation now? The President, earlier I made uh, an observation on his statement uh, that before uh, he uh, encountered um, the serious uh, ailment and we invited him to come to testify uh, in this court and he has made an effort uh, to uh, testify before the court and since he has just recovered from his uh, uh, serious uh, illness um, I uh, advise the uh, witness uh, to uh, try to respond the questions and I ask the parties to make the questions succinct uh, so that it is easy uh, for him uh, to respond uh, to the question. If we try to use uh, academic uh, verbosity or uh, complex um, uh, questions, then uh, it would be difficult for them to, uh, uh, him to answer. For example, if you ask about the proceedings at the wedding ceremony, it requires a lengthy explanation. That's why I ask uh, the party to put the question, for example, who attended the meeting, uh, make it that succinct. Uh, that's it. And the time is now appropriate for lunch adjournment. Uh, the chamber shall adjourn now and resume at 1.30 this afternoon. A uh, court officer is now instructed to assist the witness and his UT counsel during the uh, lunch uh, break and have them back in this uh, courtroom uh, before 1.30.
and security guards are now instructed to bring Mr. Kusumpon to the holding cell downstairs and have him back in this courtroom uh, this afternoon before 1.30. The court is now adjourned. Greffier, all rise.